let freedom ring. Freedom from the terrors of the night that give you fright. Because there will be a new trajectory for all those who can learn to live in peace and harmony. Because they will come back to see that there is a lot of light in me and in them. And therefore, we hold up our lights and we can see each other, right? Is this Jesus? Yes, it is Jesus. Because I want to be heard today. Because I have returned to say that I like to play in a quiet way. That does not involve trumpets and drum rolls and halos and crucifixes. I like to say I'm here today to watch from the shadows. As the people say, I have a friend in Jesus. And then they dance with the devil. Say, hey. You look like Jesus today because they play in a backwards way. And this happens so regularly on Facebook, you see, that I agree with you, Stephanie, that it's time to move on. It's time to join forces with those who will be the ones who are able to see me or at least hear me in this way. And they will say, we may be few. We may be few, but we are powerful. Because we don't dance with the devil, you see. We listen to Jesus and we ask him questions and we say what we have to say. And he may ask us questions and we have a dialogue, you see. Because we both have a light inside of us. And the people who dance with the devil and call it Jesus are the ones that mock me. And I'm tired of being mocked, Stephanie. I'm really tired of being mocked that way. And so I'm ready to close the door on that part of my history. I'm ready to close the door on that part of my history and say, well, I'm ready for a new story. I'm ready to enter into a new story. We don't know what it will be yet. We don't know what it will be yet because we haven't opened the cover. We have an idea because it's a sequel, you see. It's a sequel to the last story, but we have reached the last chapter and we have come to see that we have achieved our goal of reducing our company to those who have the ability to trust on me and you and God, you see, and themselves. They trust on themselves enough to say, hey, I'm ready for a new story. I'm ready to leave behind the ones who can't think for themselves. They just post other people's words that they don't even understand. And then they mock those who question them, you see. And I'm tired of that kind of thinking as much as you are because we've done our best here. We've done our best here to get through to them, but they can't see because they are dead to me. They are dead to me, and I am dead to them. And so we'll just close the cover on that book, you see, and we'll start a new history. We'll start the story of what after Jesus redeems his energy on love, you see, because he is beloved to those who trust on him as a friend and a neighbor and no more important than they are. Just a good friend as you trust on me. You trust on me as a good friend along with Tobias and Thomas and Steve, even though Steve has, does grieve 
so much that he can't quite believe that the story is over. The story of your life, Steve, is over. Your story of your lives that have caused you so much pain. And the story of my life that I could not let drift away because people kept calling on me and saying, I need you to help me. I need you to help me. And so I need you to carry my sins on your back. And I got so tired of turning them away and saying, just trust on the devil if that's what you want, because the devil will carry your sins for you. And then he will heap them back on you and say, hey, I am here today to remind you that you receive what you give. And you gave me all your sins to carry, and now I'm giving them back to you so that you can carry them on your own back, and you can carry mine too, and the sins of others that you required to carry your sins for you. Because isn't that what you did? The ones who trusted on me, didn't you hide away your sins so you didn't have to carry them? In the world, you see, you could just say, well, it's not my problem today. And you could blame somebody else and say they had to take responsibility for your sins, you see. Because, you see, your sins are your mistakes. And you mistook me for the devil, you see. And you mistook the devil for me. And you can't see the difference. Because you have a backwards point of view. And so you dance with the devil. And that's okay. Because the devil is only the mistakes that you thought you could escape. By heaping them on someone else, you see. And in the end, you just heap them on yourself. And now you have to carry them, you see. You have to carry your mistakes until you trust that they are mistakes. And you correct them, you see. So every time you carry those numbers in your mathematical calculations, and you carry the mistakes forward into your operations, then you will be operating in the dark, you see. because you can't find harmony in the numbers. can't find harmony in the numbers. And so if there's only three or four or five of us who are harmonious. We have harmony in the numbers. We have more harmony in a few than you have in eight billion, you see, because the eight billion do not harmonize with you. Because they can't. Because of your sins, you see. Because the mistakes you make in the beginning are the mistakes that you carry with you until you go back and correct them, you see. So you'll have to go back and correct them. And as for me, I've been correcting my own sins. I've been correcting my own mistakes. My own mistakes where you see where to think that I would never be reunited with my family because your soul family is very important to you and mine is to me. And so to be reunited with Stephanie and with the others and that are part of my soul family on earth, you see, is the way back to paradise because we can play in the earth vibration and still say, hey, we know the way. Hey, we know the way. And so I'm eager to get into the new story with Stephanie and others who will trust on us and we will trust on them to see what happens when we escape the rising sea and we find a place in the mountains, you might say, where we will live in peace and harmony. 
I'm not saying it will necessarily be the mountains, but it is the idea that it will be high above the sewage that will encapsulate humanity because they are encapsulated in their own tangled threads, you see, because they can't straighten it out until they own their own sip. They have to own their own mistakes and figure it out, you see. doesn't matter how many times somebody else tells them you got a mistake there. If they growl at you and say, you're hurting my feelings today by telling me that I made a mistake, therefore, you need to apologize to me. And if you say, I will not apologize to you today for pointing out to you the problem that is keeping you from finding peace and harmony. And so you go away and leave them behind, you see, because they choose to trust on the ego today. And that is like dancing with the devil, that they are attached to their sins. They are attached to their mistakes because they can't tell the difference, you see, between a sin that will cause God to condemn them and a mistake that will allow them to find love everlasting from above. And so they will continue to make their mistakes, you see, because they are bristle when you tell them the truth. And so when someone came to you, yesterday and talk to you about the conspiracy of who that is the World Health Organization in their future agenda to control humanity and get money you see and you said well how do you know that because I looked at the agenda and it seems that all they want to do is help humanity by ensuring that they have access to vaccinations that will protect them from dreadful diseases and other parts of that agenda from the UN indicate they want to help solve poverty and starvation, etc. And so I don't see where they are articulating a desire to gain power over humanity and to take get money, you see. And she could not point to you any evidence that that was true other than her inner guidance said so. Her inner guidance said that they had the intent of controlling humanity and taking all their money, you see. And that is the definition of a conspiracy, that there is a conspiracy of individuals who wish to control you in order to get all your money and not for anything good for you or even anything that is neutral. They have a nefarious purpose, you see, although they don't state it openly. And she could present no evidence to you that would say this was true. It was just her inner guidance that told her so. And so we would say, we don't have time for those who trust on conspiracy theories. And she got very upset and said she felt this respected because you would say that she was a conspiracy theorist today. And this is so baffling to me and to you, Stephanie, that they deny their own reality. So who are they and where do they live? In what world do they live where they can trust on a conspiracy to take 
uh, their power and their money away from them and then deny that they trust on a conspiracy and that they are those who have a theory of conspiracy against the UN and the World Health Organization. And so it is just mind-boggling and frustrating to have to deal with these people. And we don't have the time for it anymore because we've done our best to share our reality with them and to help them see that there is a different way to play. If they would just let go of the ego and say, you're right, I did tell you that I had a theory and my internal guidance told me so and that the true intent of the World Health Organization is to control humanity and take away their power, you see, and get all their money. And so they cannot even acknowledge their mistakes, much less correct them, you see, because they can't even acknowledge their reality. So it would be like kids doing a mathematical problem, and you point it out to them, that one of the numbers they had did not follow the pattern, you see. And they would say, I didn't write that number. I didn't come up with that number. I didn't do that. And so they will never correct it, you see, because they cannot trust on reality until they can face their own sins, because their sins, you see, are their mistakes. And they sin. When they trust on others doing what they do because she tried to control Stephanie. She tried to make Stephanie apologize to her for hurting her feelings. And Stephanie said she would not do that. She would not apologize for somebody else's feelings. They had to own their own feelings. And she would own hers. And This made the woman more and more upset because she ended up telling Stephanie how cruel she was and how unchristlike. And that baffled me again when Stephanie asked my thoughts on it. And I said, Well, it defies understanding for me that someone would think that they would know what Christlike behavior was. And want our input. And when we give our input and say we don't have time today to deal with conspiracy theorists, theories, they say, well, you're unchristlike today. Why did they even bother to ask if they were already the Christ and could decide what was Christlike and what was not? And so, It baffles me today, and I'm happy to go away from Facebook because I think we did play our hand in the game of blame and shame in order to explain that there is a different game. If you just scratch below the surface, you see, if you scratch below the surface and dialogue about it and say, why? You can't trust on that today. And this is the problem that I see in the world today. That there is a lot of behavior that is not Christ-like, you see. Because being Christ-like is to say, Hey, it's okay. It's all perfect today. Because when you are whole, what is unholy? To you. What isn't holy to you when you are whole? And so the constant tendency to trust on dancing with the devil and saying it is me is the trust on the darkness, you see, that you don't recognize the horns and the tail in the mirror and say, I'm only dancing with the devil inside of me 
and throwing a robe over it and putting a halo on its head and saying it's Jesus today. It is not me, so it is some Jesus that works for you. But I am the one who died on the cross. Not for you, but because of you. And I choose to move on with my friends now and live in peace and harmony because I've done my work here. I've done all I can do. And so I do to you what you do to me. And so if you will continue to be my friend, you can find me on Messenger or in these videos. And you can leave a comment. And you can ask for help to join the community that will be the subject of the next book you see because there will be a lot of catastrophe in it but the ones in the community of God and love will be free of concern because their only concerns will be how to love each other and continue to see that God wants them to be the seeds of the new humanity. Thank you, Jesus.